Alrighty guys, welcome to a, another video by yours truly, Hustler GBR, and uh, today I want to talk about riding in rush hour traffic. And in my city of Lincoln, Nebraska, it's rush hour. It's approximately, oh heck, I don't know, like 4, 30, 5 o'clock, and uh, traffic's getting kind of thick. And if you guys live in a bigger city, this probably isn't, uh, this is like standard traffic for you, but uh, for my city of about 250,000, I believe, uh, it's it's about as busy as it gets, and it's what I'm used to uh, as far as being busy. So, a few things you need to keep in mind when you're in rush hour is when you're moving, try to uh, try to keep moving forward. Like, don't be stuck behind one car. Uh, you want to try to weave your way through traffic just so people see you and know where you're at, um, and you're less likely to get. Uh, to get hit or something like that so try not to stay uh, stay in the back or whatever try to move forward and that was a little bit ridiculous but whatever um, that's probably my part as far as being reckless and that's something you have to watch out for as well but uh, I didn't really figure that guy would uh, <laughs> move over that quickly but you got to be ready for anything that's part number two is having your clutch and your brake covered. Uh, be ready to accelerate quickly if you need to or brake quickly if you need to to get out of uh, a bad situation. So um, you might want to also stay down a gear as well. Like normally where I'm at night now, I'm in third gear. I'd probably be in fourth, maybe even fifth, but in third gear, I've got enough power to accelerate out of uh, bad situations if I need to. And it's also makes the bike a little bit louder so that people around you can uh, actually hear that you're there. So, uh, boom, there you go. And the other thing is when you're slowing down like this, uh, keep an eye ahead of you, but also take a look behind you and see where that person is at. Um, the guy behind me, I mean, just by, this is something you just kind of figure out after riding for a while, is uh, knowing if people are smart drivers or bad drivers like you can look at them and see like that guy's got both hands on the wheels he's looking forward um he's not texting and driving or anything so i i can reasonably assume that he is a safe driver and probably will not asshole me um so i guess that's the other thing is look behind you be ready to split the traffic if you need to uh to get out of the way of somebody who might uh appear to be assholing you uh, especially if it's a buick behind you that's always normally uh, a sign that you're going to get assholed if there is a buick behind you because odds are it's a 65 to 85 year old woman driving it who has not taken the driving test in oh god who knows like 30 years so that's something else to be careful of and really that's uh that's about it you want to be you just want to be pushing you want to be going a little bit faster than the, the average pace of traffic and you want to make sure that uh, people hear you people see you and uh, yeah that you don't get assholes so keeping an eye out behind you as well is a is a pretty big uh, pretty big thing as well so I guess that's really the only few little tips I have for driving in rush hour traffic um, if I could lane split it'd be awesome but Nebraska is gay and doesn't think that uh, that should be legal even though it's perfectly fine and perfectly safe but uh, oh well I guess uh, that's all I gotta gotta say for that guys hopefully if you do have a bike or you're gonna be buying a bike that you ride safely in rush hour traffic and uh, maybe my tips have helped you out just uh, just a little bit so I guess that's it till next time guys take it easy